Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters, this time from Indianapolis, Indiana, with an 8 truck show for you here today. Our field of trucks starts off with Kiara Short in Barnburner making her Core Monsters debut, followed by Lonnie Hall in Cottonmouth, Henry Gibbons in Flying High, Damon Newton in High Voltage, Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal, Trip Cassidy in Outlaw Thunder, Randall Boone in Rat Trap, and Phil Butler in Tonka. And now we move on to round one of racing. Our first matchup will see Lonnie Hall in Cottonmouth versus Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal. Both of these trucks are very fast. Off the line, Lonnie Hall gets the jump. Pretty tight in the turns. Cottonmouth goes wide. Officials say he made the ramp. Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth will be moving on to round number two. Next, we have Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder going up against Henry Gibbons and Flying High. Even off the line. Even into the turn. This should be a close one. Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder cracks the whip at the end and moves on to round number two. Next up, we have Phil Butler and Tonka versus Damon Newton in High Voltage. Leaving identically. So far, this is the same run from both trucks. Tonka struggles in the turn. Damon Newton in High Voltage. Rough landing, but will be moving on to round number two. Our last race in the first round sees Kiara Short and Barnburner making her debut against possibly the toughest opponent she could be going against, Randall Boone and Rat Trap, hard off the line from Randall. Great turn from both trucks, but Randall Boone with the easy win into round number two. And now to kick off round number two, we have a rematch of the 2000 finals. We have Outlaw Thunder driven by Trip Cassidy versus Cottonmouth and Lonnie Hall. Outlaw Thunder with the early lead. It's going to come down to the turn. Outlaw Thunder's ahead. Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder will move on with a wild landing from Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. Losing a wheel. We'll have to see if they can get that truck fixed for freestyle. Next up, we have Damon Newton in high voltage versus Randall Boone in Rat Trap. Pretty even off the line. Early advantage, Damon Newton, I think. Great in the turn from both trucks. It's going to be close, but looks like Damon Newton in high voltage will be moving on into the finals to face 2000 racing champion Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. We have a classic Chevy versus Ford matchup. Damon Newton's been here plenty of times, never won it. Trip Cassidy's won it a few times. Off the line, Damon Newton, early advantage. Down to the turn, Damon Newton's tighter. Trip Cassidy struggles, Damon Newton is going to get his first racing win here in Indianapolis. And now moving on to freestyle, we're going to start off with Kiara Short in Barnburner, followed by Henry Gibbons in Flying High, Lonnie Hall in Cottonmouth, Trip Cassidy in Outlaw Thunder, Mike Maxwell in Loud Pedal, Phil Butler in Tonka, Randall Boone in Rat Trap, and rounding off with our racing winner, Damon Newton in High Voltage. Starting us off, we got Kiara Short in Barnburner. This is the first time we're seeing her in Core Monsters. Starts off with a great little slap wheelie off the car stack there. Goes straight into the mud pit in the middle of the track. Looking for her next hit. Off the yellow lane, lands it in the mud pit, gets held up a little bit there. I get the feeling we're going to be seeing quite a bit of that tonight. Now she's going to backside the yellow lane. Good jump off of it. Would like to see a little more momentum out of her. But given that this is her first time on a floor this size, I think that can be forgiven. Looks like she's going for some donuts here. She 
does a nice beautiful set of donuts right in front of the camera. That looks like she's going back side of the red lane. That's pretty decent air off of it. Back to the yellow lane. Tried for a slap wheelie there, didn't quite get it. As time expires, scores will be coming in here any second. She's not done. Looks like she's going for another hit off the yellow lane with the biggest air of her run. Unfortunately, it was after the clock. Only a 20 for Kiara, but that's not bad considering what we normally see from rookies here. Next up, we have Henry Gibbons in Flying High. You never really know what you're going to get out of Henry. He could go off and have a great show. He could struggle. So far off to a decent start with that first hit on the back side of the red lane. And then some great air off the yellow lane into a nice slap wheelie. Lining up for the car stack. Going for another slap wheelie. Didn't get that one though. Back to the back side of the red lane. Pretty decent hit. A little off kilter there though. This little flyby on the camera gets it sideways. Could have gotten into trouble there, but the dirt's pretty forgiving here. Wasting a bit of time. Back to the yellow lane. It's going for the bus stack. First one over the bus stack. Made it pretty good. What's he gonna do next? Looks like back to the red lane again. Not quite as good as his first couple of hits off of it. Now back to the yellow lane, lands it crooked, brings it back down onto all four though. The momentum he had in the first part of the run's certainly gone. Time's up with a great sky wheelie off the red lane. Brings it back down. Also gets a 20, so not really sure what the judges were looking for in that run, but they didn't like what they saw, apparently. Next up, we got Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. Looks like they got that wheel put back on after racing. Will be interesting to see how aggressive he goes with it, knowing the truck's hurt. Apparently he's going to go for it, because that was some big air to start off with. Looks like he's going to get turned around, hit the car stack. Great sky wheelie off of it, and do a fantastic bumper dragon slap wheelie. Put himself in a bit of a situation there. Recovered pretty nicely. Lines up for the yellow lane. Pretty average hit off of it. Turns back around, backsides the red lane again. That time he did it on purpose. What's he doing now? Going in some donuts. Make that some cyclones. As he just keeps going and going and going. Wraps him up. Going back side of the bus stack. Great air off of it. Stuffs the nose. Pops it onto the bumper. Sets the front back down. That rattled his cage a little bit there. Launches it off the yellow lane. Sends it into some more donuts. Time's up. Smacks the wall. 23 for Lonnie Hall. In Cottonmouth, that'll take the lead here. Next up, Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. Straight to the red lane, with some big air off of it. Kind of an awkward landing there. Back to the red lane, going the other direction now. Cases that car.
Now he's going to the car stack. Some good air. Gave up on the slap wheelie immediately and back to the red lane again. Looks like he's going yellow lane this time. Good air off of it. Didn't quite get the slap wheelie out of it though. Back to that car stack. That stack's getting abused by everyone out here. And now back to the red lane again. It's held up on the ramp there a little bit. Now he's going to the bus stack. Oh, gets tripped up by it. Endos of the truck. Back on all four wheels. Officials say he's done. It's a 26 for Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. A lot of time left on the clock. That might be a little controversial. As next up, we have Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. Barger's got raised in front of him. We'll see what he does. Great sky wheelie to start off. What's he doing now? Looks like he's going to cross thread the yellow lane into the mud pit. Kind of gets stuck there a little bit. Now going for the red lane, with some huge air off it, clears the entire stack. Now it's his turn at the car stack. Again, did not get a slap wheelie off of it. Huge air off the back side of the red lane. Now he's hitting the bus, crooked. Could have gotten into some trouble there, but worked out for him this time. And now he goes into some donuts. Back to the red lane, buries it in the mud pit. Start to finish, this run has been non-stop action. Into a giant slap wheelie, drags the trunk, parks it in a spot. Judges give that a 27, that is the new leader with only a handful of trucks to go. As next up, we have Phil Butler and Tonka making his way out onto the floor. So we got a camper in that car stack now. Giving the fans a salute here before he gets started. Looks like he's starting off with the yellow lane. It's a pretty good hit off of it to start. Is he going for the camp already? No, he's going around it. Back side of the red lane. Good air, not quite as good as we saw from Mike Maxwell on loud pedal. Now back to the yellow lane again with some great air off of it. Into some donuts, no. Turning around, backsiding the yellow lane. With a great sky wheelie off of that. Although it looks like he's done some damage to the sway bars. Hits the red lane crooked, stuffs it in the mud. Truck's still going, but I don't think the truck wants to be going. Great air off the bus stack. Back to the yellow lane again. Hits it sideways again, lands it in the mud. Looks like he's going for that camper now. Straight up on top of it. Great sky wheelie. Combos it up into another great sky wheelie off the red lane with a rough landing. Time's up. Only a 26 comes up a point short of taking the lead from Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal. Second to last truck up, we got Randall Boone and Rat Trap. Bar's pretty high from the last two trucks that ran. 
We'll see what he can do. Starts off with great air off the yellow lane. Little bit of a slap wheelie there. And now he's taking his turn at the camper. Sky wheelie's over it. Doesn't quite get it. Backside's the yellow lane. Gets the left side stuck in the mud a little bit there. And now he's going for the bus stack. Pretty good air off of it. We've seen bigger, though. Is he going for donuts? Nope. Also just turning around. Great air off the backside of the red lane. Now he's going for his Cyclones. Pretty early in the run, he's known for flipping the truck here. Brings it back down after sitting on two wheels for a little bit. Great save from Randall Boone there. Now he's going back to the camper. Oh, he got a piece of it that time there. Backside to the red lane. Touches the bus there. 15 seconds left. Launches it off the yellow lane. Looks like he's going for more Cyclones. Knowing him, this might be the time he dumps it over on its lid. Time's up. And there it goes onto its lid. 28 from Randall Boone and Rat Trap. Takes the lead. Only one truck left. Rounding us off, we've got... Damon Newton in high voltage got his first career win in racing earlier this show. Can he sweep the event and get his first freestyle win as well? So far, good start. Held up a little bit in the mud there, though. Straight to the bus stack. Great air. Stuffs the front. Recovers nicely, though. Now goes straight back to the bus again. Almost stuffed the front end again. Now launches it off the yellow lane. Searching around a little bit. What's he going to next? Backside of the red lane. Great air. Not quite as vertical as we've seen, but that obstacle might be crushed down too much at this point. So he takes his turn at Donuts. Now this truck has open front and rear differentials. So it's not that great at Donuts, but he hits the bus deck a third time into a great slap wheelie across the entire floor. Looks like he's going back to the camper again. Backside's the red lane again. Clips the ramp on the way down. Looks like he damaged a four link. Time's up. Scores should be coming in. He's still going. Watches off the yellow lane. Smacks the red lane. Looks like he ripped the rear end out of the truck. 29 from the judges. Damon Newton in high voltage. Wins his first racing event and his first freestyle event at the same show. As he sweeps here in Indianapolis. With Randall Boone and Rat Trap getting 28 points in second place. Mike Maxwell and Loud Pedal getting third place with a 27. Phil Butler and Tonka and Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder getting a 26. Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth with a 23. And Henry Gibbons and Flying High and Kiara Short and Barnburner round out the field with a 20. After a great event here in Indianapolis, we hope you'll join us next Friday for our final event from Stafford Motor Speedway.